In Los Angeles County alone, Medicaid and children's health insurance cover more babies and toddlers than 40 entire states. Now the Trump administration wants to pay its part in block grants. Insurers predict they'd lose billions and children would lose care. Where are those kids going to go to get their care? Right, if, we, if they can't find a doctor who's going to accept Medi-Cal, how are they going to be able to get their shot? That worries Balbina Hernandez. <laughs> Last year, she had to take two of her three sons to the ER. Medi-Cal paid. If they lose coverage? It's a big, big worry because a month later, you will receive a bill. Then you see the bill and you see it. It's, it's sometimes you say, what? Advocates say just the threat of cuts is already having an impact. There's a real chilling effect that is associated with this environment of, not, of uncertainty, a chilling effect that is holding people back from seeing the doctor. Six in 10 patients at this clinic are covered by Medicaid, or as they call it here in California, Medi-Cal. Now, if that gets scaled back, doctors wonder, does it just mean less money for the clinic, or does it mean patients may not show up? that zero to five um, kind of age group is, and that's where everything starts. If we don't intervene in the beginning, we're going to see them in our ERs. We're going to see them in our hospital. When Medi-Cal expanded under the Affordable Care Act, a million more parents and children got coverage here. Now they could be the first to lose it, depending on what Washington does and when. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Los Angeles.